No injury concerns at the moment. Everyone's come through really well. Um, I think we've got a good idea of where we want to go, but um, I think we'll just clarify all of that this afternoon and um, announce it to the guys this evening. Are you deciding on extra batter or rounder or extra bowlers? Um, you know, I, I think we have a lot of options available. It's just um, you know which one we feel will be right suited to these conditions and um, this stage of the series, I, I, I guess. Um, I think it's been been good to see how all the guys who've come in, how how hard they've trained, uh, the performances they've put in in the warm up games and through training. It's it's been good to see. Um, their standards have been really high, which has been encouraging. Um, and our sessions have been really intense. Uh, the intensity of training, certainly yesterday, um, the guys ran in hard and the batters looked good. So I think all of us are look really excited to get the contest started now. Yeah, I, I think there's forecast of pretty warm weather throughout the test. Um, you know. I guess Centurion is always a, a pretty good wicket. It's had a little bit more in it of late over the last few test matches that we've played um, at this ground. Um, but if it is hot, it does become a good batting surface through the test match. Um, but so far, I think just looking at it yesterday, it looked like it, it might potentially have a little bit in it. Yeah, definitely a consideration. Um, I think we've We've been certainly reluctant to play test matches without a spinner over the last couple of years and we feel that their role is crucial um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we went without one in this game. I mean I think that's normal for me, for us you know when we play in South Africa it's always a, an interesting decision at the toss. Um, I think no matter what now you've just got to do it well. I think we've, as I've said before, I think as a team we've felt that we've got enough bases covered that no matter what we can, we have the ability to front up and put in performances. Um, so I don't think we fear the toss as much as maybe we did years and years ago. Um, we feel that we've got enough bases covered to be able to perform. Um, but hopefully, you know, we can just make the right decision to get us off on a, on a good, good, good footing uh, tomorrow. From my perspective, I feel that we're well prepared. Um, we've trained hard. Um, we're well planned. Um, and obviously it's always going to come down to the cricket and how well you execute your skills. Um, obviously in, in series like this it's going to be intense, there's going to be moments of pressure and I feel that you know, our uh, breaking point as a team has certainly extended over a long period of time. You know, we have a great ability to, to handle pressure and still perform at a high level um, and I'd like to see us uh, hopefully uh, uh, you know, continue that in the next uh, three tests. Uh, I certainly haven't thought about it like that going into the series. I think. Um, Having had success in Australia, I would say that that was probably a, a, a bigger highlight for us, considering that it's been done so little over the over you know many many years. Um, but uh, I think for us as a team, we just like to carry on where we've started and, and really be able to create something special. And this is we've obviously got a big challenge in Australia now. They've they've come hunting for us, and that's exciting, you know. And we're looking forward. Um, to playing as the number one team and, and really showing people why we are the number one team. I certainly improved from a couple of days ago when we first arrived here, but I think a bit of sunshine generally does that as well, it seems like. Um, I've said from the start, I, th I think the wicket's going to have some pace and bounce, there's no doubt about it, I think it naturally does here in Centurion, and, uh, but I think it's a pretty good wicket. It's tough to start as a batsman, but uh, generally you've got a fast outfield, pretty small ground, so if you can do the work early, um, once you get in it's, it's quite a nice place generally to bat here. I think it's a bonus, there's no doubt about it. I think when you look at the South African team, Jack Callis, uh, through his career, has done a, a, a critical role for the South African team. Uh, I think we've seen through this, the, our most recent series against England back in Australia that you know, Shane Watson didn't bowl as many overs as a lot of people would have expected. So um, I think it would be a bonus. I, ideally, you'd love every batsman in your team to be able to bowl. Um, that would make life a lot easier, but... You know, I think whatever the selectors decide to go with, they feel it's the best 11 to help us win a test match in these conditions. Um, whether that is the extra, extra bowler um, or the six specialist batters, um, yeah, I, I think conditions will, will determine what, what 11 they come up with more than worrying too much about that, that fifth bowler.